Okay, let's see if we can get a drawing file put together for 7.5 of our exploded view. Just completed our presentation assembly, exploded view. Some sweet graphics. So, I just opened this up. You might have yours open. We need a new. It's our title block. Enter all that good information. Now this should be the first page of many sheets in the same drawing file. I recommend starting with this one. When you need a new sheet, you come up here and you click on new sheet and you add that information. So we need to place our base view. It's going to assume we want this one because I have it open. Um, I would say we can probably get away with a 1 to 4. We're going to have a fairly large part list and balloons we're going to try to add here. And it's going to take up a decent amount of room, but we should be able to make this work. Uh, let's hit OK. might give you a warning about not having a snapshot view over here, and it'll just choose yours for you, basically whatever you have showing here. You can also add a new snapshot view here. Just make sure you have it at the end of your, your explosion. Okay, so I'm going to move this just kind of up towards the upper right, or that would be left. And uh, now, the trouble that we had is that we would add balloons to auto balloon, which is pretty horrible, but we use it anyway. Uh, let's see, select view, that's the view we got. You might have to select the view. Select all the parts, select placement, let's do around. So let's click on select placement, just throw them on there somewhere. Pretty, pretty horrible. Um, now, this is where we would I left it structured and that's just a default. If you do that, it gives you this warning. If you do that and then you go to do a parts list, structured is already selected for you. And if it's not, you could change it, but then once you click select view, it'll go gray on you. So what we would need to do is either do the parts list first so we can select parts only from this view, or when we do the balloons, I don't know if we can get back to the balloons or not. Just kind of undo. When we do our balloons, if we do it, whatever we do first, we need to make sure that we select parts only. Let me know if you know what legacy means. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, select view. It's already been selected for us. Add our new components. Let's again go around and then move them as needed. Select placement. Let's do that. Okay. Now when we do our parts list, when we select view, notice this will change and gray out to parts only. So I can't change it because we had already selected that earlier. Okay. Um, let's click that. I'm just going to throw it in here, maybe snap it. But you see it's a little big. A couple things we can do with that. First of all, we need to get all the things in here that we need. So I'm going to double click on it. Column chooser. The instructions in my Google Docs say that we need, um, we need density and surface area as well as mass volume material, but those are not choices here. So let's just go ahead and get rid of description. And you could add your own columns in too, but let's just do what's here. I'll change the Google Doc. Let's do mass. That'd be good. Material would be good. And then volume. Volume is certainly least important. It can be last. Material is probably more important than mass. Material also gives us density indirectly. So let's click on move up. And then hit apply. Now notice that I forgot to change my materials from generic to, say, whatever these some of these parts are made out of. Um, I remember the T9 bed. In actuality, Project Lead the Way is where I got these files from Canvas, so they never changed them. So to change those, go in somewhere where you can edit your part file. I'm just going to open up the part file itself. So I've got it chrome plated, but I'm just going to change the material, because you can chrome plate wood, right? Change the material, I guess maple is maybe what we guessed it was. So once I do that, even before I saved, it updated. Still going to save. If I would have saved, it said, do you want to update your dependence? And 
then it would save this file. But okay, so now if I had all that done, I would want to go in here and make it so that all these columns did not have to wrap their text. Just like that. You can change your file names. They just use your file names. Change the part name to a logical name. Now one more thing I want to do before I snap. It would be nice if I could change the font. And if you right click and say edit parts list style. It takes a little while to pop up. Here's where you can edit the, uh, the size. And you can edit some other stuff too. I'm just going to come in here and change the data text size to the smallest one. Which is just slightly smaller. But it's, it helps, certainly. And then I can come in here and resize these columns so that they're no wider than they need to be. Stainless steel rims. And that gives me just a, you know, a little more room for my exploded drawing and my balloons. Now the reason we did the parts list as parts only, we did the bubbles as parts only, is because otherwise it will it'll attach balloons to every part, but then your parts list will just be each subassembly, which we don't want. We want all the individual parts for a parts list. So now I'm going to come in here and just move these around to better locations. The auto balloon's pretty horrible, but I don't even know what's going on here. So that's the rim. Get these back on the screen, get them to a logical location. The lines with the exploded view kind of confuse with the lines of the of balloons, but wow, this is pretty bad. I'm just going to put them somewhere where you can actually tell what the heck it's pointing at. Excuse my language. Okay, so this is that passenger base. I'm going to move that there. Of course, we're only doing automobile blocks minis, so we will not have the same parts. But uh, this is call that good. Okay, so that's it.